In thinking about what's next, one of the things that comes up for me is the natural world. So I decided to go to Harvard and meet with my old friend, Ed Wilson, who is one of the great leaders in biodiversity and conservation on the planet. So I decided to go talk to him about what is next, what should be next in order to create a more sustainable planet. When it comes to inspiring what is next, it's going to be biodiversity. We're approaching a problem in the loss of biodiversity comparable to climate change. One of the two great crises of the environment, we've jacked up the extinction rate at least a hundred times. The natural ecosystems of millions of years old, many of them just erased. People have talked about ecosystem collapse. Climate change, we can reverse that, but we can't reverse the loss of three-fourths of the species on the Earth. Ultimately, this has consequence on human beings. Oh, no question about that, yes. We know bad things are going to happen when you keep removing species. When a young child is attacked, whether it's your child or just a child on the street. Everybody rushes in. Everybody rushes in. So how can we mobilize people so they actually understand what's going on right now? 80% of the species on the planet are still unknown to science. We still live on a little known planet. We have to find out what's out there to find out where these species are exactly. We're gonna to have to be doing a lot of mapping to find out where the maximum amount of diversity exists. We have to create an ecological infrastructure of places that are protected. Exactly. I've been involved in a movement called Half Earth. If we could save half of the Earth's surface in protected areas, and that will give us security for 85% of the species. So you want to put all of the species in a database yes, for the whole planet? Yes, sir. It has to be a spatial database, and you want to weave those together somehow? Yes, sir. It's a mammoth job. It's bottom-up. Biodiversity needs boots on the ground. We're talking about citizen science here. Getting a lot of this information by citizen participation. We need to get everybody on board mobilizing social groups, clubs that would take these geographies and own them. This is the way to bring people into science. You get them to find all of the species in a given state park, riverine, forest. I think it's not just doing the science for them. It's also having the concept of ownership so that they protect them, so that they're going to fight for it. I like that a lot. It's tribalism, and it's the best kind. We have now plenty of funding to map all the neurons in the brain. Mm -hmm. And just would take, I think, just a fraction of that to find all the species and where they are. It'll require everybody's imagination for how to do this. All of our science, all of our technology, to be able to measure virtually everything that moves and changes in the living world. You're talking about a whole new science of conservation, among other things. Well, I'm beginning to call this thing the science of where? We're moving from 15th century geography of discovering things and where they are, and changing it into a digitized system of thinking, ecosystems, and this is a new world. The explorers of the future, I'm thinking, will be digital explorers. They will be building models of how these ecosystems work for making decisions about where to conserve, where to locate. What do you think about the future? I tend to be an optimist, but I think that's a hereditary thing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I've got the same problem. <laughs> oh, I did, among other things, I wanted to show you our ant collection. I definitely want to see it. Oh, you got to see this. I'm going to see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to put into words what that few hours meant. Dr. Wilson spent his entire life studying these little critters, ants, and how all of nature works. Ed inspires me all the time. He just gives me hope to take aggressive action to be able to protect that natural world. And GIS people have a huge part to play in that. <laughs>